how we collect the data in our real-time data analytic project. So now I, I got into a real-time data analytic job. How I try to collect the data? Is it with the help of CSV file or Excel? That's how we learn. So in our Power BI. So now we all have, so see this environment. So this is our one of the real-time streaming pipeline. We are collecting the data from this pipeline. And then I'm trying to pull the data here inside Power BI and I'm trying to perform reporting. This is not actually a Power BI. So I'm opening Power BI inside appfabric.microsoft. So now you can create Power BI visualizations with the help of Power BI online. We are calling it as what? Fabric or we can say Microsoft Fabric. Now, in order to get the data, what we do, we are pulling this BPEC table. So from CSV or an Excel file, but not really. What I'm doing is I'm pulling the data with the help of this streaming pipeline. So what exactly this streaming pipeline is? So within Microsoft Fabric, we got, this is called as stream, or we can say event streaming. So now what exactly event streaming going to do? We are able to collect the data from a streaming platform. So what is a streaming platform here? Azure event or Azure Event Hub is a streaming platform. So we all know data analytic lifecycle, which is ETO. We are extracting the data from a streaming pipeline. We are capturing it with the help of Event Hub. And with the help of this uh, event stream, we are able to perform any transformation operations. If you want, you can do it. And then you are loading that into a lake house. So lake house can be taken as a platform where you can store both the structured data and even an unstructured data. Once you are storing the data inside a lake house, from there, you are trying to pull it into Power BI and you are trying to perform the reporting. So why you need a streaming pipeline? Very simple, take IPL matches or take any of this. So it is a streaming pipeline. It's not just like a batch processing. So we are get generating the data parallelly. The Power BI reports are created. So if you want to learn this kind of end-to-end real-time data analytic pipelines, so you can join our data analytic career transition program where we'll be learning Python programming SQL, statistics, Microsoft Fabric, and even your uh, Power BI, and then we will be working on Snowflake, which is a data warehouse. So we will be demonstrating end-to-end -end projects, creating con jobs, creating stored procedures, creating staging, so creating wonderful dashboards with the help of KPIs, and you can work on them, you can place them in your resume. If you're seriously looking for a challenging projects instead of a simple projects, then you need to consider Data Analytic Career Transition Program from BPEC, and you can join our classes. The links are in the description below. You can learn more about our classes and you can just decide. Thank you so much.